Welcome to Smoky Peach Barbecue. Have we got something for you today? We're going to do a scorpion tomahawk steak. Woo! Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to trim this up a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of our special sauce on there. We're going to put our AP rub, which is Elk Creek, one of my favorites. We're going to come on some 1836 by Suckle Buster. And then we're going to top it off with some Montreal steak sauce. Tomahawk steak. That's about a four pound steak. It's about three inches thick. What we're going to do is we're going to take, put it up on the side right here. We're going to come right in the middle of it and we're going to slice it. Even keel slices. Butterfly this out. People say, what's a scorpion steak? The scorpion steak is that. That's a scorpion steak right there. You've got the steak laid out both sides. You got the tail of the scorpion coming up. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to trim this just a little bit off that bone so that we get a little bit. of a flatter lay. There is your scorpion steak. We're gonna season this up a little bit. First thing we're gonna do is take a little bit of our, our special sauce, drizzle it on here just a little bit, both sides, and we're gonna rub it into meat. That's gonna tender it up, season it a little bit, and it gives it a good beefy flavor. That's where you get your beefy flavor from right there. Okay, so we've got it right there. We're just gonna go ahead and do it this way. We're gonna put on our Elk Creek, which is my base. You don't have to put it on real thick. And the second thing we're gonna put on here is our 1836 by Suckle Buster. It's a little heavier, got a little more pepper in it. And then we're going to top it off with our Montreal. And this is a really a thicker, give you a thick crust on your steak. We're going to set there. We're going to let that set for about two or three minutes. Let that rub in, rub set in. And we'll turn it over. We'll do the same thing. Okay, we'll let this side set for a couple of minutes. We'll just flip it over. We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. Going with a little, little Suckle Busters 1836. Then we're going to come on with our Montreal. And there again, we're going to let it set up for just a few minutes. Okay, we're going to let this come up to room temperature. Then we're going to actually go put it out on our, our grill grates. We're going to give it some uh, grill marks on both sides. And then we're going to put it on a smoker and finish it out on the smoker. So we're going to let it set right here. Then we'll head upstairs. I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're out here at the smoker. We're on my big smoker today, and what we're using is we're going to use the firebox on here, and we're going to put some sear on this scorpion steak. Okay, we're going to put our steak on here. We're going to do our sear marks at 2 and 10. So we're going to be at 2 o'clock. Set that down there. We're going to let that sit on there for one minute. At one minute, we're going to turn it over to the 10 o'clock, and then we'll swap it around. Okay, we're going to go in here and get it. What we're going to do is that's our 2 o'clock position. Now we're going to flip it around here to our 10 o'clock position. The reason we're doing this is so we put our grill marks on there. And when we turn this around in just a second, you'll see why we did it. So, Okay, we're at the end of our second two minutes. I'm going to take this. I'm actually just going to take it off the grill. Look at them grill marks right there. That's why you put it on there. I'm going to do that. We're going to put a little spray on here so it doesn't stick. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up on here at 10 o'clock. We're going to shut that for a minute. Okay, now we're going to, we've got a minute right there. We're going to come on. We're going to pick it up. We're going to move it over here to the 2 o'clock position. Put her back on there. Let's get a little. Right there. With one more minute, and we'll take it. We'll move it over to the smoker, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay. We've been a total of four minutes on the on the grill with the grill grates. We'll get it right here. Pick that up. Look what we got on there. Look at the grill marks on that. 
both sides got great grill marks. We'll set it right here. We're gonna let it rest just for a second. Then we're gonna take it over to the smoker, put it on the smoker. We're gonna run it up to about 128 to 130, depending on how the temperature looks on it. And then we'll have it ready to eat. We'll see you in a second. We just took come off the grill grates over on the big smoker over here. We're gonna put it on the big, big grill. We're gonna put it over here on the little smoker. So we're gonna turn it in here. We're gonna turn it up. We're gonna open up the inside. We're gonna let it smoke like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get run that steak up to 128, 130. I'll check it, we'll look at it, see what it looks like, and then we'll take it off, go downstairs and try it out. Okay, we're back out at the smoker. We've been about 25 minutes on the smoker with this with this uh, scorpion steak. We just tempted it, just tempted 129 on both sides. So we're gonna take it off. Put it back on the pan right here. We're gonna go downstairs. Look at that piece of meat. Does that not look good? Let's go downstairs and we'll get it ready to go. Okay, we're back inside. Let me give you a little recap of what we did with this tomahawk steak. We took and scorpioned it, which what we did is we cut it right down the middle, flattened it out. It helps it cook a little bit quicker. But it also looks cool. That's why it's called a scorpion. It looks cool right there. We went out and we seared both sides. One minute, turned it. One minute, turned it. And then done it the same thing on the other side. So done that. Then we put it on the spark. We had a total cook time of right at 30 minutes. But let's get us a little bite right here. And just a small bite. Look at that piece of meat right there. It's perfectly medium rare. Juicy, tender, great flavor. I, like, I do a lot, I do my steaks like this all the time. Really like this steak. Great opportunity right here to have a great tomahawk steak. Y'all please go on, like, subscribe, and make a comment below. And we appreciate everything that y'all do for us. Y'all come see us now here.